welcome um, to uh, one of the last talks for uh, this ADAPT. Um, today, um, my colleague Andre and myself, Yannick, uh, we would like to show you something about a tool we wrote. Um, it's called Touch UI Dialog Designer. Um, I guess I don't have to introduce myself because you had me um, in the lobby for several minutes. Um, and uh, this is why I directly hand over to you, Andre. Thanks, Yanni, and welcome everyone once more. So I'm Andre, I'm also from DYE and work as a software engineer with AEM, formerly CQ for almost seven years. And as Yannick already mentioned, our uh, talk called Touchy. Uh, dialogue designer. Therefore, we want to do a small time travel experience. So most of you, more might be not most of you, can remember that initially before the AM Experience Manager, there was a CQ, and with the CQ, we had some fancy, nice classic UI based on the XChess framework, and we had such dialogues. And then we had a transition to the touch UI and we get the new, completely new user experience. And basically what we also lose with this, that's a, a tiny tool that was inside the CQ to design dialogues. So basically that's, I would say not a widely used or adopted tool, but it was kind of nice tiny feature to somehow prototype your dialogues and so on. But that was kind of far, far long ago. And therefore it brings us to our year, 2020. And the question from us, what do we have currently on our plate with the tools which can simplify our touch UI development? And Yannick, yeah, um, as there basically is nothing comparable, we had the idea um, to create a tool um, for Dialog Designer. Um, and one of the main goal was that we're creating a tool with an what you see is what you get experience. So that means that you have an intuitive user interface with drag and drop functionality to create your uh, IM dialogues. Um, and basically one of the reasons why it is, was so, so important for us to um, have the what you see is what you get experience, um, that it's easy to use for the business side of a project. So that it's not done by a developer. Um, and that being said, we also wanted to integrate an XML and JSON generation um, so that we as developers can easily um, integrate it the designed um, dialogues into IM. And for sure, uh, a reason or one of the goal also was um, that the dialogues uh, which got created are easily to maintain. Uh, that being said, means um, that you can load and edit your dialogues and maybe export it uh, for different IM versions as well. And uh, based on our ideas, uh, there got a uh, business value generated um, as a no-brainer more or less, because uh, what we are achieving with the dialogue designer is a uh, really, really rapid feedback loop from the business and the developers. Most of us um, already living uh, in a project where we have an agile way of working. Um, and our experience in the past were that when it comes to designing dialogues um, for authors, got a bit, yeah, not not that fluid um, and not that time efficient. And if the business can design the dialogue, um, they think the author needs it. Um, it's much, much faster, uh, higher flexibility, more time efficient. Um, 
And at the end, we also saw an uh, increase of the user experience for the authors because most of the time, the business side of the project um, yeah, knows the needs and the way an author works uh, a bit better than, um, I guess, the developer do. Um, and one thing I, I really enjoy as well is the kind of we are forcing the business to uh, think about a modular component beforehand and that helps um, to avoid mistakes um, later on um, yeah and like the developer we we're enjoying kind of enjoying to delegate um, stuff um, and yeah creating dialogues takes times um, and as we can delegate it to someone other um, we are able to focusing um, on the business logic and yeah that's basically pretty pretty cool to have it oops okay thanks Yannick. so basically astrologists proclaim the year of the components generators and basically this year and the previous year quite a lot of companies released their open source solutions how to generate the templating and bootstrap the components like create the htl uh, folder structure file structure maybe sling models and so on but basically none of these tools somehow cover the look and feel of the dialogues. Please, the next slide. So we did a small research and found a quite nice extensions for draw.io written by the Perfusion guys regarding the uh, mocking up the authoring dialogues. But that's a cool, nice, tiny templating stuff. But unfortunately, we cannot export this somehow and we can we cannot reuse the information that we have in this mock-up. So please, next slide. And which leads us to already covered at this uh, conference, AEM Components Generator. But as the developers, and I guess as it was mentioned previously, that's still kind of hard to work with the JSON, even if it simplifies the uh, structure and creating the structure for our component. And this leads to our solution. So let's talk. Let's have a demo. And let me overtake the presentation. And I hope you can see it right now. Yep. Yep, seems to uh, Yep. So basically, I guess this user experience might seem pretty familiar. For you so like touch UI edit mode so on the left side we have the components in our case it's basically the fields from the dialogues bind it to our corral components in the middle we have our preview and that's basically how would you work with your standard AEM page you can drop out the tab view and as you can see I already have the highlighting here that that I can drop some components here, some allowed components. So in case I will drop tab view here, I can set this NID. Also inside the tab view, I can drop the tab and I can give it a title like properties. And basically what I can do, I can just drag and drop components inside this tab like reach text editor. I can set up field label, field description, set the field required and so on. So let's say it will be rich text editor in this case. I will save this. And basically what we wanted the most, we wanted not only to create the dialogues, we wanted to have some additional user experience with them. So for example, in case you want to drag and drop the select field here, uh basically the business can rearrange so in case i want to rearrange them the business can also fulfill the select add an options which options i will have here uh can have the different suggestions regarding multiple or not and is it field required and not and the biggest feature that we wanted to introduce for this, this is the most important de uh, developer feature that basically everything is binded to 
our XML markup here. Basically, you can see it on the fly. What we've created here, we can also download it as an XML for the CQ, as a CQ dialog. We can just export as a JSON just to see how it's stored currently. And the feature also we wanted to introduce in regards with some synergy with AEM components generator, you can extract here the JSON already prepared for the Adobe components generator. So basically you can use it in your pipeline here. Okay. So just let me show it. Yep, that's basically it. So something you will need just to post-process a bit with your own packages, uh, components, paths, and so on. The dialogue JSON, that's basically the set of the properties with a hierarchy of them and our, uh, yep, and our CQ dialog XML. And basically we can even see that there is something not working and which we will need to fix in the nearest future. But that's basically always with the demos. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe one, one clever uh, guy um, from the audience would take to uh, participate on the repository because uh, you guys will get the repository link later and <laughs> maybe you are willing to fix it. <laughs> OK. Yep. Um, Thank you, Andre, for the demo. Um, then give me a second because I overtake the presentation again. And hopefully you should see my screen. Does it work? Yep. Okay, great. So um, I would like to yeah put put that what was Andre showed us um, into a bit of code context and um, guide you through how we created the application. And basically what is most important, I guess, for the audience here is how you could create your own um, components um, and add it to the dialog designer because um, yeah, that's, I guess, is, is quite important for you. Um, as a basic wrap up, just to dive into, we're using um, React for um, the basic um, structure, for the basic state handling and so on. Um, and I guess if you, uh, yeah, touched an um, open source React um, application in the past two years, uh, the structure and the way it's working should be um, pretty common to you. So nothing special um, here. Um, you saw already in the demo, we had uh, the side panel on the most left right corner uh, part of, of your browser. Um, and there basically were all of our um, components listed. So we did uh, some uh, or most of the basic um, components. Uh, we've already added them. So like, yeah, you saw the text area. We added the tab, uh, the tab view. We have also the multi uh, field set um, already added, but um, if you want to create your own, we prepared um, a hello world example. So <laughs> basically, I guess that's most common for all of us. Um, one thing to mention, we've currently created for the demo, the folder called custom instead of components, um, created the file. Um, and for now, uh, you actually have to import your um, custom components manually to the index.js uh, file. Um, to make this um, automatically isn't on our backlog. Um, so this feature come will, will come soon. But for now, if you uh, dive into the repository, maybe after the talk, um, just take in mind that you have to add your file here. But um, let's jump back to the Hello World example. All um, components are uh, structured basically the same. You, you see, I just created kind of four groups. Um, and at the most top section, you have really, really basic um, configuration stuff like the name of the um, component, the tag, uh, which is used for showing um, in the side panel as well. You can create your own category and tech color as well. We are using, in this case, um, just some, some predefined uh, def um, tags and, and color codings. So basically, I guess I need to go there. It's um, this part I'm talking about. So we just added um, 
the other category, um, and the red color here. Um, now maybe we, we are coming to the configuration of the component properties. So um, in the fields area, you basically configure uh, the properties you can edit for um, the component. In our example, um, I can show the hello world example. If I drop it in, yeah, you see we have an ID field, we have a string um, for hello text and hello uh, um, and world text, sorry. Um, and basically that are the component properties and you can figure those uh, properties here. Um, in, in that case, we are just using uh, also predefined predef um, configurations. Um, you can dive into uh, those fields um, by your own later, but um, they're structured basically the same, um, like these fields. Oh, sorry. Um, and underneath uh, that, we do have the um, preview output definition. Um, in here, you can see we have um, a string replacer for the values you put into um, the component properties. So you see it's, this is a pretty basic example, but we do have um, the diffs here and we just print out the properties we put into. So if I actually save that, yeah, this, this is um, the result of our preview area. And what uh, Andre already showed, um, we do have the XML output um, down here, uh, which um, yeah results in the XML output. Um, and we saw it already. Maybe I have to uh, go on, make this a bit larger. Yep, thanks. Um, and dip, 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 dip. Um, yeah, you get that example with the values um, inside here. Um, like expected. So um, yeah, this is pretty pretty easy to, to extend and to create your own uh, components uh, and yeah, be creative. You can take a look in the tab and the tabs view if you want to see a bit more about um, the track areas we've integrated. So um, you can make your own track areas and the items and components uh, which are trackable into those um, also on your own. Um, and yeah, that being said, I guess uh, should be um, enough for at least a first preview and a first dive in, I would say. Um, and then I hand over to you back, Andre. Thanks, Yannick, and thanks for the deep dive into the code. But yes, basically we covered with Yannick the fancy part, but I would like to say that our solution doesn't have any limitation, but as always, and as any, it has some. So uh, we kept in mind that this is solution should produce you the high end, the dialogues, that's basically the mockuping tool for business and for developers as well. And therefore, unfortunately, we do not have the custom JavaScript support for the fields. So basically that means in case you want to have one complex component to show height based on the different states of the different selects, unfortunately, that's currently not supported. And I would say that's basically won't be supported in this case. Uh, the next interesting part that's uh, basically, I guess, most of you use uh, the include field, which includes basically the part, the partial of the dialogue. This is currently not supported, but it's in our roadmap and we like to deliver it as soon as possible. So yeah, because it's kind of convenient to reuse everything. Uh, complex nesting is not fully supported. That's also the tricky to be said. So we do not guarantee when you will put uh, several multi-fields one in each other that it will work at AEM at the end. But still, you know, a tool you can do this. So that's basically limited by your imagination in this case. Uh, special parameters for Granite UI, like Granite uh, data, Granite render condition, and so on. So that's uh, currently partially supported, and we are in a kind of hurry to implement everything you might want. And yeah, we just kind of encourage everyone to help us with this as well. 
that's about our limitations. And yeah. yep, the roadmap. For sure. Yeah, for sure. We we do have um, issues already set up in in the um, Git Git repo. So uh, there's some stuff um, on our roadmap. What I maybe missed um, is that we do have actually, if I switch over, um, we do have the um, a download button for the ACG. It's the um, IM component generator JSON. So we already try to um, get with that project in touch and uh, partially we um, yeah, you support the basic components. Um, but I guess that's a wish from us to have a deep integration um, there as well. Um, second, I already showed in the um, demo that you have, if you would like to add a, uh, add a custom component, you have to create your file, then add it to the index.js that it's got loaded. We would like to have an autoloader uh, for that. So you just have to throw in your um, co component file and don't worry uh, too much about uh, yeah, initializing and autoloading or loading um, the component. Uh, and what we what is actually missing as well is we do have kind of persistence but only um with the local store we would like to have that a bit more clever that you can export and uh, at least import uh, already created um dialogues or that you can um, create subsections of a created dialogue um so that you can reuse uh, those subsections um, for um, yeah, future uh, dialogue creations. And basically, that what you saw is, uh, yeah, I guess, just just what we imagined and what we uh, thought is, 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 is uh, good to have. Um, and we highly would uh, love to see you as the community um, to participate in um, yeah, with ideas, with uh, comments on the repository. So uh, basically, you, you can find and contribute to the repository. We would love to see you um, committing stuff to the repository. You find it on github.com slash diva e slash dialogue designer. Uh, we also set up a um, GitHub page where you can just try out the dialogue designer, um, play around, um, just yeah, test it out. Uh, and maybe you... Um, will find or get some ideas how to to improve it um, and we are uh, would happy would be happy to to see those ideas popping up and if you like to contribute there's a contribution file as well so um, just read through that and it would be really really cool um, to have you and your ideas on board and I guess that being said, we are coming to the Q and A time. Um, oops! Now I just need to <laughs> find my button. So, are there questions? Um, here we do oh, have a question. Oh, yeah, just awesome. one. So the question, is it possible or will it be possible to click copy raw text button instead of the having to do all files? Uh, basically, you can just select everything that we have on the right in this uh, developer mode and just copy this. And yeah, I guess in this case, the additional button is in, not an overreaching, some fancy stuff, but basically you can copy paste it really easy already yeah cool thank you um then we pick pick the second one yep does it work i'm not sure okay um do you think about ex ah now it's working do you think about extending current types uh, IM has to compose dialogue? I think about extending a rich text editor oh, uh, to be able to change some word size or color in the middle of the text. 
would you go on that as well, André? Uh, yep. So basically, as Yannick already mentioned, you can create your own fields and add it to the dialog designer. So basically, we are not restricted by using only the Coral fields in this case, you can freely create your own others. And also we are kind of thinking regarding uh, how we can simplify the reach text uh, editor, especially especially the plugin section, because currently sometimes it's really, really hard to set up and enable all plugins properly. And yeah, several times you need to change your XML and so on. So I would say the answer will be yes. In this case, the short one. Yeah, <laughs> and I guess the last one is here, live answer. So uh, what was your motivation to not build or add the dialog designer inside IM as a package uh, to offer similar features to the Agassi one? Um, it basically, I, I guess one of the main reasons not to have it inside IM was to easily um, make it accessible for the business side um, of a project so that you don't have to build and create an IAM instance. Um, and yeah, it's just easier to wrap up the React application, throw it in a Docker maybe, or uh, yeah, maybe just use it on GitHub pages, for example. So um, basically, that were the main motivation for us um, not to add it to um, uh, to to IM uh, with a picture, um, so on. Uh, so I will add some regarding this. So initially, the idea was to have it completely independent from AEM, and as Yannick mentioned, to use it as an independent tool. But as it's a React application, no one cannot forbid you just to add it to your current to your AEM project. In this case, basically, you will just need to create this specific page and include this uh, client library to start the application. Right. Um, I guess one question did pop up as well here. Um, can I upload existing JSON? Cannot find a button. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we um, don't have such a button currently. Exactly, because uh, the button does not exist uh, right now. Um, that was meant with the pod um, on the roadmap, as I talked about um, persisting um, dialogues and also re-uploading um, yeah, dialogues you created in the past. So that's on our roadmap um, and yeah, on top of the backlog, because I guess that is one of the most missing features right now to um, yeah, create subsets of your uh, dialogues um, to, to easily reuse it and also to re-upload uh, yeah, dialogues from the past um, and yeah, edit it easily. But you're right, you can't find the button right now. <laughs> Great. Seems no more questions. I guess everyone is just busy creating, creating new tickets in GitHub. <laughs> Hopefully, it would be great. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, then I would say we went through. Um, thank you for listening. Um, was great experience uh, here speaking on Adapt2, not only as uh, one of the moderators. Really enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Uh, there is a new question regarding uh, in the chat, how we can add a multi-image. Um, uh, in this case, uh, not sure uh, what are you really referencing for, but there is a file upload uh, field, which you can place inside the dialog as a regular file upload curl component inside your dialog. And, and maybe um, one thing I want to, to uh, mention as well is a huge shout out goes to our colleagues, um, Andreas and Thomas, who did uh, the most of the workload for the school applications. So huge shout out to you guys, definitely. Yeah. Shout out. Yep. Awesome. So thank you. And um, yeah, enjoy the lightning talks in 15 minutes.
Bye. Bye-bye.